So I've been filming concerts for a few years now and I'm always looking for transitions that I can depend on, stuff that I can usually capture super easily at concerts to make the edit a little easier. One transition that I've often used before is a phone screen zoom transition. So with everyone using their phones nowadays at concerts, it's really easy to capture somebody using it and using that phone screen as a transition. It's really simple to do and I wanna show you guys how to do it in today's video. And real quick, if this video ends up helping you, consider liking it, subscribing if you wanna see more from me. Now let's go ahead and dive into today's video so first things first guys let's get our clips set in Premiere Pro here so I'm gonna be using the phone clip on the left in the clip we're transitioning into on the right let's highlight both of these right click and replace with an after effects composition so I'm gonna find a point where this phone is nice and focused now let's go ahead and duplicate this clip at that spot by pressing command D and then we're going to right click time and freeze frame drag this over here and now for this freeze frame let's zoom in using our mouse wheel we're going to create a mask around the screen using the pen tool up here so click and press down on your middle mouse button to move that canvas around make these points around the phone screen clicking and dragging to create those smooth bends around the bezel of the phone screen so boom now we've got our mask around the phone screen next thing we need to do is open up the masks and invert the mask and let's open up that mask entirely now before we go any further there's two ways you can go about doing this transition and let me show you what i mean so we need to take the clip that we're transitioning into over here and drag it one up here now you can either extend this clip by clicking and dragging and now if we go over the freeze frame you'll see that it's in the freeze frame area or you can simply just click and drag this clip underneath the freeze frame but go ahead and use whichever option you think is going to work best for you in this case i'm just going to extend the clip so we're already getting there but we've got a few steps to go next thing we're going to want to do is clean up that mask so we're just going to feather it a little bit i'm going to choose like 10 pixels just so the edges around the screen aren't as harsh now we need to create our scale and position keyframes which is going to create that zoom for us so let's close this and reopen it so we can see the transform option here now we're at the beginning of the keyframe here we're going to keyframe the scale and the position we're going to come out to like one frame before the actual end of the freeze frame and now we're going to start scaling it up and moving the position accordingly to how we want this transition to look i'm going to drag it until it's pretty much completely out of frame here so now you can see we're starting to lay the foundation for this transition but we've obviously still got some stuff to do so close that transform and go back to your masks here and click on mask one then we're going to press command shift n which is going to create a mask around that whole area for us and we're going to use this mask as an opacity keyframe which is going to help transition that phone screen a little better for us open up the second mask i'm going to keyframe the opacity at 100 and go like one or two frames out and we're going to drag it all the way down to zero now if we go frame by frame you can see that the phone screen it gradually changes you might need to play it around with these opacity keyframes to make it look smoother so we have the foundations laid down for this transition but there are a few really important steps that you have to take to make this transition really look nice so the first thing I'm going to do is go into all of my keyframes and I'm going to highlight them and F9 them, which is going to easy ease the keyframes and make it look smoother. I'm also going to go into the second mask where we did the opacity keyframes and F9 those as well. And a really crucial step that I forgot to mention earlier is we want to take the keyframes for the position and the scale and make sure we drag them all the way out to the end of the clip. Now, perhaps the most important step is to turn on motion blur here. After Effects has great built-in motion blur. It's really easy. Just click on this little button right here. That that motion blur makes it look way better and a little fun trick here i kind of want this to keep zooming in after the clip so i'm going to click and drag these keyframes at one past and i kind of just like that look better now back to motion blur real quick after effects actually allows you to change the intensity of the motion blur it's really easy to do if we go into our composition settings up here and go to advanced we can change the shutter angle to say 360. i often use 240 just because i feel like it's a good middle ground so let's change it to 240 and see how this looks and there we go we can see the motion blur already looks stronger i like to look at that it doesn't look half bad and the beauty of this transition is that it's pretty much done you can play with some parameters play with the keyframes if you want change up the transition a little bit but that's pretty much it the good thing about this too is we have it dynamically linked with premiere pro so if we open this back up you'll see that in premiere pro on our timeline we have the transition already done here for us you might just need to go to sequence and render selection so that is today's video guys really simple transition that i often use in my videos if you're like me and you film concerts people are using their phones all the time so it really just makes sense to build a transition around something that you're constantly capturing so as always guys i appreciate y'all watching if you learned something new let me know in the comments below and if the video helped you consider liking and subscribing if you want to see more from me i appreciate y'all and i will catch y'all in my next video peace